Uh, right, uh, I've got a request from Johnny Bulger Jr. about antimatter. Um, he's asked me to read out uh, the message he sent to me last night. I got it actually. So here we go. Okay. Hey, Pro or whatever your real name is. Uh, real, real name is actually Simon, but um, people call me Pro. My mates call me Pro. Okay. Um, could you possibly explain to me whether or not antimatter has mass or not? Um, if it doesn't, it would explain a lot for me. If it doesn't, it changes my whole perception of the world around me. So explaining such matters will be jolly good in my belly. Johnny. Postscriptum. Read the email out. Uh, there you go, Johnny. Okay, so we're going to talk about antimatter. Um, as um, Sir Isaac Newton said, for every um, action there's an equal and opposite reaction. So that basically means um, everything that we can define as one thing, such as matter, has an opposite in theory. Okay? So wherever we get matter, we also have the possibility, theoretically speaking, for antimatter. Uh, which would be the opposite to matter. Um, if, so basically, has antimatter got mass? In this sense, no, it hasn't. Um, in the classic sense, this isn't what my theory said, but this basically, antimatter is the opposite of matter, so it's sort of matter without the mass in a sense. Matter is defined as mass, um, and this is the opposite, which would mean no mass, no matter. Um, okay, so it's, antimatter is basically the opposite to matter, really, really simply. You've got antimatter, you've got matter, you've got the middle, which is neutral. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the neutral possibility with antimatter. Um, the thing with antimatter is, um, as I couldn't understand um, the concept, basically, <laughs> there's a famous book about antimatter with the whole premise is uh, antimatter annihilating the universe, basically. That's what I'm going to talk about now. Um, so the, the theory runs that if antimatter and matter were to to meet somehow and, and to, to collide, um, they would destroy the whole universe, or thereabouts anyway, it's, sort of, it's a bit like a vaporising of the, all matter in the universe, because it would sort of cancel everything out, you see. If all the antimatter met all the matter and came together, then all you'd have is absolute neutrality. Um, that's, that's the basic idea, I mean, neutrality is not really the word that's, that's used, but that's the word I'm using to describe what I'm saying here. Um, because if you've got matter and then the opposite and they meet in the middle, what happens? It's not matter and it's not antimatter. It's not mass and it's not absence of mass. Um, so if you add the two together, you get neutral in the same way you do with any opposites. If you're at the point between, if you've got good and bad, you add them both together in equal amounts, you get neutral. Um, quite simply. I mean, obviously, you can say the opposite to that, blah, 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 like my, my theory suggested and everything, but. That's basically what antimatter is. It's the opposite to matter. Really, really simply. Uh, I'm just going to have a look at your question again and see if there's anything else I can say. Right, it's going to change um, your whole perception of the world around you. Okay. Right, well, I, you know, antimatter has got no mass, simply speaking. Um, like I say, according to pro theory, it's possible to say the opposite to that as well, but like I say, keep it simple. Matter antimatter, neutral in the middle, the point between, if the two meet, neutrality. Okay, it's the same for everything else, um, and that is it's really simple, like I say, it's just the opposite to matter, as everything has an opposite, theoretically, everything else has a neutral point, that's the only thing I think people have forgotten in the past, really, when they're trying to explain physics and stuff, really, mate. Um, I think that uh, we've, known, we've known that everything has an opposite for years and years, you know, left and right, up and down, everything else. You know, um, but I think people have forgotten the neutrality, and it, it's because neutrality isn't really definable, really, as, as such. It, its very existence is between the two opposites, so you, you, you sort of literally can't define it in a sense because it is. It's, it's not nothing. It's neutrality. I think it, it's not more or less than nothing. It, it's completely in between. It, it's not really not one or the other neutrality, and that's that's the key to this, really. Um, so basically, physicists decided there was matter in the universe. Matter defined as something containing mass, containing energy, the potential for change, really simply speaking. Um, without all the words, that's what I mean by it. When I say simply speaking, I mean without all the complicated words defining mass and all the equations, uh, which I see as relative, really. Interesting. They are interesting. Don't get me wrong, I'm interested in this too. Extremely so. But nevertheless, they're relative. They're not, not fundamental in, in the same sense that explaining... 
um, the universe in terms of negative, positive and neutral potential is fundamental. Um, that's, that's sort of the way I see it. Um, rather, than, rather than saying, okay, the universe is so many miles across and so many miles wide or, you know, up or down and all these other things. I mean, it's, it's interesting which relative, but like I said, it's really, really simple. You've got your opposites in neutral. And that's basically what antimatter is. I've said this loads of times on this video already, but like I said, I'm just filming. This is off the top of my head. I've got your question here. This, this is the printout I did of your question earlier to me. Um, and that's what antimatter is, the opposite to matter, basically. So, uh, in response to your question, simply speaking, no, it doesn't have mass. It's the opposite to mass. Matter is defined as having mass. Antimatter is defined as having no mass, so to speak. It's like the mirror of the universe. Um, the ultimate mirror, I suppose, um, and that's what it is, the, the, the theoretical potential for opposite to matter. Um, I really hope this helps. If you've got any more questions at all about anything, mate, I'll answer them for you um, in the best way that I possibly can. Uh, I really enjoy doing this, you know. I like talking to you as well. It's great that you're responding to my videos. Uh, it means a lot to me, you know. I, I really didn't think anybody would be interested, to be honest, but um, you've shown interest. I've got sort of, I think I've got nine subscribers now, which is excellent, you know. I'm really, really really pleased about that. Uh, thanks very much for responding as usual, Johnny. Peace out, mate, okay?